Just in, just back. Well, Oliver Stone helped make him the face of Wall Street. I'm not talking about Michael Douglas. Tom Belize is prominently featured in the Wall Street movie sequel. And not too keen about how real life protesters are playing out Wall Street guys just like him right now. Tom, good to have you. Um, Good to see you, Neil. Uh, great movie. You've had a great role. And I'm, I'm, I'm always happy when you deign an interview with, with me. Um, but in all seriousness, are, you don't like the way uh, the Wall Street crowd's being portrayed, do you? I don't. And first of all, Neil, I have to say that I sympathize with all Americans that are out of work or struggling economically. You know, I share their frustration and anger. But unfortunately, I think it's, they're misguided in where they should place blame. I mean, the administration is voicing support for them because it's a great smokescreen. I mean, they should be protesting in front of the White House, not Wall Street. I mean, let's take a look at the protests. They're down the block from where our headquarters are, okay? And our analysts spoke to a few of the protesters. And some of them are so misinformed they don't understand some of the major causes that caused the financial crisis. Like, for instance, none of them ever heard of the Community Investment Act. None of them have heard of the Glass-Steagall Act, yet they have signs up saying that the top 1% should pay the fair share of taxes, yet they don't understand the top 1% pay 38% of our country's taxes. So you have a bunch of frustrated... Well, I think a lot of them do. What's interesting, Tom, a lot of them do know those stats, but they look at guys like you who are very, very wealthy, and you, 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 you're in big movies, and you're prominently <laughs> featured, and they say, well... Tom is indicative of this crowd. He can well afford to pay more, and he should pay more. What do you say? I think that, you know, they're misguided in what their belief should be. I mean, let's look at it like this. I mean, they should blame the failed policies of this administration. I mean, we go out every day. We don't ask for anything. We go out there and we work hard every day to earn what we make, and we try to do it for the vibrancy of this country. So, you know, I think ultimately that, you know, the president is a lot to blame here because he has chastised America so much in the last four years beyond any president that I've ever seen in my life. Well, then are you troubled when he almost takes the side of these protesters and say, well, they have something to, to, to bitch about because Wall Street has gotten its very, very big bailouts um, and it's come back uh, very, very strongly. It's making money hand over fist, depending on the day, of course. But, but uh, that you guys have very little to show for, for the pain that a lot of these protesters are allegedly feeling. No, these are very good points you bring up, Neil, but I have to say that small business owners create 80% of all the jobs in this country. So protesting against what's made America, America, is completely wrong. I mean, like I said, I mean, I think they deserve to protest where it matters the most, which is in front of the White House, which is where the policies came from that put people in such, un, you know, hurtful times, which we are here today. Um, but still, Oliver Stone cast you in a traditional... <laughs> fast-moving Wall Street guys snapping orders. Uh, do you ever regret that? Or, or, or that, that was you. That was the way decisions are made on the street. They're fast. They look at a, a quick way to make money here. Boom. Be done. Well, remember, Neil, that was a story line. <laughs> so a lot of what happens on Wall Street is not necessarily what you saw in the movie. So, you know, really? that being... I thought that movie was factual. Well, well some, yeah. some points could be, but most of it are not. <laughs> okay. Well, you were great in it. You're a great guy, Thank Tom. You Thank much, you very, yeah. very much. Good seeing you again, Tom. Same here as well.